Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, August 20th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am a love warrior. And if you could please send my favorite person in the world lots of love. It is Joe's uh, birthday today, August 20th, and he is bearing his father. And he, I think he's doing pretty well and I... Uh, think so much of that is because he is being sent so much beautiful energy by so many of you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of that. Um, for today. All right. So we have Uranus is now going retrograde, which, oh my goodness, <laughs> as I was trying to help him, you know, get his tickets lined up for his flight, I was like, it's not an ideal time to fly. And I'm just like watching all through the app all these changes go on he's sent to this place now that place and flight delays and all that tech goes crazy with this so just take it easy as we adjust to this Uranus retrograde energy and as we adjust to this full moon and that's today like it's still really strong Uranus energy we actually start the day with Uranus and Mercury connecting now Uranus and Mercury connecting uh can bring about um, some beautiful, sorry, like this is so weird looking to me and, oh, that's why, sorry, my brains are not, my brains are malfunctioning as well, my brains are very tired, <laughs> it's like, it's a trying, yes, it's a trying, um, <laughs> Mercury, sorry, Mercury and Uranus connecting can bring about beautiful ideas, however, it can also and I think what most of us are going to be feeling is spinning us out, spin us out. Um, a great solution for this is imagining your grounding core, check it, see that it's solid, but imagining expanding it and like how large can you go? You know, how, how large can you expand the cord? It doesn't have to be like a stick thin cord. You can actually expand it wider and that can help with this energy. Chances are sleep is going to be spotty. <laughs> I am exhausted because sleep is spotty. Um, your mind may be a little like mine right now, like, what's the thing that I know that I can't really grasp right now? <laughs> but also, beautiful, ingenious ideas can come through. Now, this is happening, the peak of it, while most of us will be sleeping. However, don't discount what can come through while you're actually tuned out. So if you do get to sleep, pay attention to what comes through. Or even if you're not sleeping, I always encourage myself, Joe, um, friends, like even if you can't sleep, rest, close your eyes, meditate because absolute brilliance can come through with this. Uh, besides that, we have the moon shifting into Aquarius. So super strong vibrations. Now I want to remind everybody that while Aquarius energy isn't necessarily keyed in on feeling, it really does feel, it really does pick up on feeling. So if you are feeling weird, and you're like, I don't even know where this has come from. You may have picked up somebody else's stuff. Good idea to cleanse. And as we're building to the full moon, stuff is going to be rising in and through us and around us. The feels will rise even if we're like, I, I don't even know how to process this feel. So keep cleansing, keep being available for processing. I have the lessons card experiencing, which means, you know, it may not necessarily be easy. We'll grow from it. And I really like this behind it, the awareness card. It's going to be peeling through, peeling through multiple layers and expansion, the traveling card. I always think of this as an expansion card to see from other horizons or see from, see from on high to see other options. Now, what I love is once the moon shifts into Aquarius, uh, super early in the morning, 1.49 a.m. Pacific time, um, we're going to have the moon connecting to both Venus and Saturn. These are trines, so these are helpful easy connections and with air signs we're going to want to have conversations we're going to want to connect so if you can connect have good conversations talk about love <laughs> connect to love um, with others connect to others you love that can be very supportive for you feeling good in this energy i will say though that we do have uranus building into uh, a connection with mars so those triggers may be there. That full moon building can trigger some things. Um, the Mars may make us feel a little reactive. But what I would say is like, even if you're feeling reactive, even if you're feeling triggered, how can you align your actions with that which is important to you? Even if you're feeling triggered, it doesn't mean like go, you know, punch everybody. Okay, 
I'm feeling really triggered. <laughs> Let me go feed people at a soup kitchen. How can you put this energy to good? And there's a way you can really engage your heart with this. We are wrapping up Leo and it's so important that we really connect into the love juiciness with all of this. So gonna leave this here. Please send that energy. I appreciate you all so much for doing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and stay curious. Namaste.